Welcome to the Great Basin Smoke Dispersion Briefing for Monday, March 29th. Over the last two weeks, we've seen precipitation target the eastern two-thirds of the Great Basin mainly, and this has brought above-normal precipitation to parts of eastern Nevada, Idaho, and even parts of Utah. New snow over the last 72 hours has been reported across parts of Utah, especially in the higher terrain. We certainly have had some new snowfall um, in some of the lower valley locations as well further north. Snowpack remains about normal over the northern half of the Great Basin. Even in parts of Utah, we've seen some of those snow totals bring up the snowpack to near normal in the far south, but we're still seeing plenty of areas that are below normal across Utah and also over western Nevada and the Sierra. This has not done much yet to alleviate any of the drought concerns. We still have significant drought conditions, especially across Utah and the southern half of the Great Basin, including southern and eastern Nevada and the Arizona Strip. And you can see our drought conditions early this year are certainly more significant than what we've seen any time in the last 20 years. So that will certainly play a role in our fire season this year. Satellite image from this morning shows another trough of low pressure moving across the northern Rockies. This is bringing strong winds this morning across the northern half of the Great Basin and will also bring some new precipitation to the region. Looking at our weather pattern for later today, you can see again that system will continue moving eastward across the northern Rockies into the northern plains. So you will see those stronger winds mainly targeting the northern half of the Great Basin, but still breezy winds further south for good dispersion region-wide. Looking at our transport winds for later this afternoon, you can see uh, generally gusty winds across Idaho and Wyoming and also across Utah with the stronger winds in the higher elevations. We are seeing gusts in the 40s and even higher across northern areas of the Great Basin this morning. By this afternoon, those stronger winds will shift further east. Mixing heights will remain moderate to high. On Tuesday, this system will move off to the east and will be left with breezy north to northwest winds across much of the Great Basin. So again, we will see good dispersion, mostly region-wide. The strongest winds on Tuesday will be located over the southern half of the Great Basin and also in the Sierra. Probably not as strong as what we'll see today, but we will see some gusts in the 30s and even the 40s in some of the far south locations. Mixing heights, again, remaining moderate to high. On Wednesday, a ridge of high pressure starts to move over the Great Basin. We will see warming conditions, temperatures above normal with also lighter winds, so we will see poor dispersion over the northern half of the region return by midweek. Winds on Wednesday will certainly lighten across the region. We will still see some breezy winds in the far south and possibly into far northwest Nevada, but for the most part much lighter winds on Wednesday than we will see today and tomorrow. Mixing heights will drop a little bit but still remain in the moderate range or low range in some of the higher elevations. The Utah Forecast Clearing Index is indicated here and is obviously high today with those gusty winds and remains high over eastern and southern areas on Tuesday as those winds shift further east and south. But we will see deteriorating conditions by Wednesday again as that ridge moves overhead and our winds decrease significantly. Forecast amounts of precipitation, we will see some light showers with that system moving through today and tomorrow in the north, mostly again fairly light precipitation, but we will see some heavier amounts maybe over the higher terrain of western Wyoming, but again, mainly just showery activity. By Thursday, the ridge of high pressure starts to move off to the east, so still very warm conditions across the Great Basin. Winds will remain moderate in the far north, so may increase a little bit on Thursday, but generally light in the far south with poor dispersion over eastern and southern areas, and as the winds become a little bit more breezy, we will see improvements in the far north and west. On Friday, we will see a system approaching the west coast. This will mainly target northern areas, so still the ridge is in place on Friday for warm temperatures. Again, some breezy winds over parts of Idaho and northwest Nevada, and possibly the typical afternoon zephyr kicking in along the Sierra front, but otherwise lighter winds and poor dispersion further south with warm and dry conditions. On Saturday, that first system moves into the Pacific Northwest and northern portions of the geographic area. So you will see an increase in clouds, maybe some showers, but certainly some breezier winds going into the weekend over northern areas with better dispersion. And on Sunday, that system starts to drop a little bit further south off the west coast. So we will see some gustier winds, some clouds, and possibly some showers going into the later part of the weekend, especially for central and northern areas of the Great Basin. Any showers look to be fairly light. This only takes us through Saturday morning. We will possibly see a few more showers on Sunday, but right now conditions are looking fairly light with a little bit more cloud cover than anything else in those breezy winds. Also, temperatures will be cooling next weekend again. The 8 to 14 day outlook taking us into the first 
week of April and into the early part of the second week, showing cooler conditions along the west coast with possibly above normal precipitation in California with drier conditions in the Four Corners area. We will see some of those systems again dropping a little bit further south, bringing cooler temperatures and wetter conditions to the far west. That concludes our webcast for today. Check back on Wednesday for the latest updates.